Hi, this is Dream Reality, and I'm your host, Mary Amy, coming to you from A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV. My site can be found at the bottom of the screen, maryamyofficial.com. I am an intuitive wisdom coach. As an empath intuitive, I'm able to connect to your inner spirit, which allows me to use my extrasensory abilities, seeing, hearing, feeling, information about you. I'm here for you. I see the light, the hope, and the beauty of the universe. So on today's show, we have a guest and a caller. I'm so excited to say that we're broadcasting live from Still Point Acupuncture in Rye, New York. And my guest is Dr. Mel Baker Thompson. Dr. Mel has a doctorate in acupuncture and Chinese medicine. Welcome to Dream Reality. Thank you so much. It's so good to be here with you. I'm so happy that you're here. Well, um, Dr. Mel, if our, if our listeners are interested in relieving mental or physical pain, can you tell them what acupuncture is? Yes. The easiest way I describe acupuncture is that I'm similar to a Con Ed representative. Con Ed is the power authority in the New York City and New York State area. But I'm similar to your local power authority representative or employee in that anything in your home that's powered by electricity is part of a grid. And in order for it to receive power to function optimally, the flow of energy or electricity to it needs to be efficient and consistent. Our bodies are very similarly built in that your nervous system, which governs every function that takes place in your body from the physiological to the psycho-spiritual, is a product or your nervous system guides every function that takes place in your body. And much like the Con Ed grid that has little switches that can be flipped here and there on a map, your body's electrical system or the meridian system similarly has points along its various pathways that when chosen in the right combination and at the right time, given your condition or the seasons, produces a specific response in your body. What that response is often depends on what brings you into the office. Well, I've experienced your treatment and you are a gifted acupuncturist. Mm -hmm. um, could you tell our listeners and our viewers what is a common scenario with a patient the most common problem is somebody has a problem i see a wide variety of things yes i treat a lot of pain it's one of the things that acupuncture is most widely known for physiological or musculoskeletal pain but oftentimes regardless of the specific diagnosis that brings someone across the threshold what i wind up treating is the mental emotional and psycho spiritual underpinnings that gave rise to the disease presentation in the first place when i came to you for treatment which you were uh very 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 um gentle and understanding and you're a great listener not only in what you do but as a person you're a very kind soul you gave me this treatment um it's cranial sacral i'll say it wrong cranial sacral uh therapy and it expanded my mind and my imagination and it it was it was it was almost like when i've never taken hallucinogenic drugs but I would say that it probably was in the realm of feeling like that. It was beyond anything. Can you tell me what is that and what, it, you know, what is the purpose of that? What is that? A quick explanation of what craniosacral therapy is. The cranial part stands for the head. The sacral part stands for the triangular bone that turns into your tailbone at the bottom of your spine. So from the cranium to the sacrum, there's a fluid communication matrix, the cerebrospinal fluid. It's, it's the water in your head that cushions your brain and your spinal cord from impact. Mm -hmm. That fluid matrix expands and contracts with your inhalation and your exhalation. And that fluid matrix actually exists throughout the entirety of your body. So cranial sacral therapy doesn't just treat from head to tail, although that's what we often treat. Mm -hmm. We can treat the whole body. You're asking what's it? 
what it's for. Right. You can use it to treat chronic pain syndromes. You can use it to treat autoimmune disorders because it also acts directly on the nervous system, which, as I said earlier, governs every function that takes place in the body. We can also, because our psycho-emotional and psycho-spiritual cells are invested and infused into our physiological cells, treat disorders or disharmonies or deficits of our energetic selves. And that's why you experience, I'm guessing, it sounds like that's why you experience the consciousness expansion during the treatment. I think it had some after aftermath effects where it put me in a different place. Actually, as a person, it was interesting. Uh, I, I had the acupuncture, then I had that therapy, and it centered me more. First, it kind of everything kind of went like, oh, and then all, it all kind of came to my core, my core center, and then it was stronger. It felt stronger. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, readjusting you maybe from, right? That's exactly that must be it. what it did. It readjusted yeah. me, and um, I would highly recommend that treatment. Speaking of, so you operate out of this, or I don't, you know, you treat patients out of this particular location, which is in Rye, New York, not far from Manhattan, and you also have another office in Manhattan. Can you tell me about that? My other office is in New York City on Fifth Avenue and 31st Street. And and how long have you been practicing? Is it I can since 2011, so eight years. Wow. Very cool. Thank you. And um, so uh, is there anything else that you'd like, like a common um, question that you've had from patients or anything that you'd like to address that you know would be helpful to someone who is interested in doing this? Mm. Yes. It's so important to learn, to remember how to pay attention to yourself, how to listen to yourself, and how to listen to the messages that your body sends you. Because our bodies are always communicating with us. I had a exceptional ballet teacher some years ago who would always say the body never lies. And that's the primary reason I got into the work that I'm doing now because I started to see how our bodies were reflecting the psychological and psycho-emotional underpinnings of the things that were driving us kind of from behind the scenes. And a practice like acupuncture or any other natural medicine or awakening practice allows us to remember the feeling of ourselves, the authentic, good, clean, clear feeling of ourselves. And that, when we continue to make that the chronic feeling of our bodies, as opposed to pain or anxiety being the chronic feeling, then we are moving in the direction of optimal health. I love that, because that's changing. You're reverting back to what what should feel normal, rather than accepting and kind of dwelling in a place and it just gets smaller and smaller and, and it's it's so that we all can have a amazing mind body spirit uh is can you tell me um okay so if you'd like to meet or set up a session with dr mel you can reach her at her uh website stillpointacupuncture.com and um, I'm so grateful that you were my very first guest. Oh, oh my gosh, really? Oh my gosh, I am so honored. <laughs> we did heart to heart. So before, Dr. Mel told me something. I don't know. I didn't know this. She said, let's give a heart to heart. Heart side. Heart side. Hug. You say it. What, what were you saying? Heart side. Hug. Heart side. Hug. So then I started twisting and she said, no, no, no. What are you doing? And I said, I don't know. I don't want my right from my left. So that's what she recommends so that you are in more, I guess, Contact with other human life, yeah, no, right? Absolutely, with ourselves. With ourselves. Yeah. As long as you're hugging the right person, I guess. Well, you'll feel that too. Uh, okay. Um, so, <laughs> how are you doing? How are you doing? Are you doing? <laughs> um, all right. So, it was a pleasure having you, and um, you know, we'll, I hope I see you again soon. Heart side hug, right? Thank you, Dr. Mel. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to plug in my headset, and we're going to have a caller. <laughs> Be patient with me. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. The speaker device changed. Okay.
Okay. Hello. Can you hear Hello. me? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you today? Okay. Okay, so right away I'm receiving information from you. Um, okay, I'm getting that you are someone who is, uh, you definitely have a presence that tends to be more, not withdrawn, I'll say, but shy. And you are, uh, however, you are not, you are not uh, hiding yourself. It's just how you carry and compose yourself. You are someone who is, uh, you are cautious um and but you but i would say um that there's not a lot of i'm not getting a lot of jaggedness to you i'm getting that you are primarily even even keel person um what what can i do for you today uh i just Hello? wanted a, a yes do you hear me yes i can hear you Oh, okay. Can you hear me? I just wanted, uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, I just wanted a, a general reading. Okay. And I want um, you to know right. where my marriage lies because I was, um, like, kind of like seeking into divorce after 17 years. Okay. And I don't know right. if I'm doing so, the right thing. Okay, so right now you're you're in getting into the divorce or you have you paused and you're considering it yes yes I'm that's what i got yeah you're considering it okay um yes. all right um so what i'm getting from you is that all right so when you're in love with someone or you're in a str very strong relationship with someone there's an energy with that person and if things go well, the energy kind of stays together and it's whole. And if it doesn't go well, which could be many, many different things that cause that things not to go well, it kind of starts to, the, the energy kind of start, starts to leave the relationship. And what I'm receiving from you is that you already, it's kind of, you're already past it. Whether or not you want to, continue to stay in the relationship because it's very comfortable for you and you don't have to make a lot of changes and i know breaking from any kind of situation or circumstances there's fear involved and you may feel like you don't you're, you don't want to take this on now at this part in your life so my suggestion to you would be to not rush and let it play out more and look at your options because you, if you do it too fast, you're gonna fall apart and it's gonna take you longer to put yourself back together. And there's yeah, a chance right that, that yeah. right, I'm getting that. So there's a chance that this, I'm still, I'm seeing, I'm seeing his energy and there's a chance that this may still work out with this person and that he, uh, ultimately might be the right guy for you to stay with. I'm just getting water. I'm getting a lot of blue, which is a lot of emotional. And I, I, I'm not, I don't know if he would give up the relationship so easy because he's set in his ways. Uh, which, mm -hmm. um, right. So I'm, if I were you, I would take it very, very slow. Um, I wouldn't say, I don't, I don't, recommend you not addressing your feelings if you feel a certain way okay here's a suggestion besides taking your time which is just thought-provoking and reflecting i would say um have you had any dreams related to this have you had any dream sleeping um, dreams related to the marriage telling you any information no no, no, I just had, like, dreams of his, his mother was in my dream. There was dreams pertaining to, like, his people or people he knew that I really didn't know. It was weird. It happened a people few times, like, he knew within and that a you week. Didn't know. 
Okay, yeah, people anyway. that he knows that I don't, I had dreams about them. People I've never met before, I just know through Facebook or something, has right. popped up in my dream. Well, okay, so that could possibly mean that there's more of a, he brought more of a presence to you, whether or not you even know these people, it's more of his energy coming to you. Uh, mm -hmm. And that is, uh, how am I trying to say? You know, sometimes people don't realize that they unconsciously know what's going on or um, they're trying to fix something in a it, sideways or in a different way. And he, you, might, you might have felt either he didn't bring enough originally of himself and his friends into your life. And, and that's why I'm saying initially I got that you're already past this. However, even if you're past something, it doesn't mean that you're emotionally ready to break free of it. So it's baby steps. Um, uh, I would suggest before you go to sleep, to kind of see where you stand and ask yourself a question before you go to sleep and um, see if you get some answers within the next few weeks. And it might be, should I, should I leave this person? Should I separate, divorce this person? Or am I going to be okay staying right where I am? And see if you get any unconscious information because our spirits and soul have all the answers. It's just so far back and deep inside of some of us that it's not in the front. And if you dream and you ask yourself a question, you might bring that information to the front. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Um, so, uh, well, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't get where, where you're from. It came up so fast. What, where where, where oh, are you from? Connecticut. Oh, you're from Connecticut. Waterbury, Connecticut? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That's, an, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful time of the year. Um, Lillian. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I love that name, Lillian. Um, well, Lillian, oh, it was a joy. It was a joy to speak to you. And um, like I said in the, uh, originally, I would not rush. I would not rush out of this until you've kind of got your bearings and your... Um, have a plan. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right, Lillian. Um, you can reach me at Facebook on my Facebook page, Mary Amy Official, or my website, okay. Mary Amy Official. And thank you so much for um, being on the show today. Oh, thank you. Have a great afternoon. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, that was so nice to hear from Lillian today. Um, okay, well, each week we have a different topic. And today we had a guest, which was fantastic, Dr. Mel. And she shared with us about acupuncture, which is a holistic, uh, holistic practice that helps connect our mind, body, spirit and helps with any ailments that we may have, um, mental, physical, emotional. I myself has ha have had many treatments in my past. Uh, I also am going to bring up my gemstones, which I always pick a gemstone each week. And we're going to, let's see, which one should we pick? Um, so I have, you know, gemstones are very, very healing. Of healing properties, and each gemstone actually brings um, a different energy. Um, last week, I believe that we had amethyst, and the amethyst was protection, spiritual protection. So we're not going to do that one this week. And um, I really am drawn to the clear crystal. Quartz. And I call this actually the vision gem. I've written a children's book, and in the book, I have this gemstone. And the clear quartz gemstone protects against negativity. It brings your higher self. It brings you power, amplifies energy or intention. Okay, so 
when you do get a gemstone, if you decide to, to, to purchase one, my suggestion is to wash it, to lay it out in the sunlight, and you can do many things with it. You can place it by your bed, you can carry it in your within, you know, in a pocket or in your in uh, your handbag, um, a briefcase, a man can carry or his pocket. Um, and it definitely, definitely will bring you more power to your life and healing qualities. Thank you so much for joining me. This week we had a guest. Uh, next week I will be back to my regular location. And um, every other week I plan on having a guest and possibly do location. Uh, from do my radio exciting to be here today it's still point acupuncture you can reach me on my site maryamyofficial.com my facebook maryamyofficial my uh, instagram or twitter now you can send me some emails or messages if you'd like me to answer on the show a question if you don't feel like calling in I'm totally capable of receiving a question or you can reach reach out to me um, via email thank you so much for having me today for having me in your in your life today and um, we all have a beautiful glowing light in our hearts and I hope that we can connect to that